Hey guys, what's up? And today I have some just basic black slime. I call this the black venom. Um, it is some really nice slime. I've just come back from school and I did buy some of this molding sand, moon dust in silver farm. I do have some in blue farm it's down here in my slime corner. So yeah, I'm gonna add some of this in because it's grey. I think it'll suit the black colour. And then after we're gonna add in some glitter putty. We might end up turning this into a galaxy slime. So that's why I got glitter. I got a lot more over there, so I might end up putting that in. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So I'm just gonna cut this off camera. So I'll be right back, guys. So I'm back and I did chop it. Ooh. Oh, let me tell you, this thing is so heavy. I never thought multiple sand would be this heavy. But it is. Okay, so the container for the slime is actually kind of small. Um, so we're not going to add a lot in in case it melts it. So we're just going to add like that much. If it makes it nicer though, I don't want to add too much in either. It's kind of like an edit sand, so it probably will end up melting the slime, to be honest. But when I get some more activator from tomorrow, um, or the day after, I will obviously activate it. So, it's not really done anything to it, to be honest. It's not really changed the texture. When it starts really melting, I'm just going to add it in bit by bit for now. Because, honestly, I have no clue what it's going to do with the next time I put some more in. So I just put some in and we're just trying to beat it, if you know what I mean, so it makes it a lot nicer. It's still, like, it does rip. Uh, this slime was already really thick when I got it. So we're, not, uh, we're still not going to add too much, we're just going to add that in. And mix. Let's see if it gets any better. I have got some chocolate brownie mini bite slime that I absolutely love. It's a bit sticky, so if this ends up thickening, I can just add some of that in. Also, I might end up turning this into a galaxy slime. Mixing some more in right now. This is actually pretty hard to mix in because it's, but I've already got some glitter on it to be honest. So I'm gonna go and see if I can find any glitter in the slime supplies. I definitely have got foam beads in it, that's at the bottom of my box, which is kind of annoying because if you look, these three boxes, the beads are right there. So I need to try and get them. Uh, in the meantime though, I'm just gonna get some glitter. I got too much glitter and I'm trying to use it because I'm probably not gonna make any more slime. I got too much. Oh my it's squishy. I'm gonna use this pink one, purple one, blue one. This, I love this blue one. Black one. Oh, I, I mean, it's already black. There's not really no point. Orange. Hot pink, not light pink, hot pink. It's goldy, gold colour. Like a really rose gold colour. Um, green, which is full because I've never used it. I got too many pinks. Hot, like a purple, really dark purple and pink colour. Uh, there's a bright orange right here. And some dark green. No, that's all. Oh, right now there's some glitter down here. And light the blue. Now we just need to get the beads, which is going to be the most hard bit. Also, I might end up adding some puppy paint in because I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> One box moved. And I'm just going to look under the box to see if I can get the beads. <laughs> 
May as well see what's in here. Hopefully it come out. I'm using massive white beads. These big rainbow beads. And the small rainbow beads. I might end up showing you guys a lot of slimes in this video. But for now, I need the beads. Got the beads. Let go. Back to my table. Okay, so we got all the stuff. It's kind of a lot of stuff. But we got it all. Pew. So we got all the stuff, finally. And it seems like there's a lot of stuff on the table right now, but it's the exact same. Not the exact same, but it's not, nothing changed. So first off, we can start by adding some white on beads into black slime. So this might not look good until like the very end. I don't, I hate spilling foam beads everywhere. So I'm just trying to keep this as good as I can. So this is just kind of my add-in slime where I add in a bunch of stuff and see if I like it in slime. And if I don't, well, you know what happens then. I chip the slime away in the bin. Oh, I just keep it as a speck of slime in case I need some white foam beads again. I just get the foam beads out of the slime. Okay, so I use quite a bit of the white I mean white foam beads. Now we're gonna add in some rainbow ones into the black venom slime. This is gonna be kind of crowded with foam beads. So we're just gonna try and get some white ones out or all the spare ones on the top of it. And just see if that will help. Okay, so that helped a lot. I got a lot of foam beads. I'm gonna put them in my foam bead jar. This is just to see how many foam beads fall out the slime. So right now, if I breathe any of these, all of these foam beads are gonna be absolutely everywhere, and I really can't be bothered to pick up a foam bead mess. So. I gotta be careful. I shove them into the slime. Okay, so mostly right now there's just white foam beads and I want some rainbow. So let's put the white and rainbow foam beads into the slime. Okay, so I do kind of want this to be just a foam slime. I have got some more black slime, so if I do need it, I can add it straight away. Okay, so there's a lot of foam beads. I feel like this is actually going to kind of be annoying with how many foam beads there are. Um, but I'm mixing them in and because of the, the big foam beads, they don't really do anything. Oh well. They, don't really, they just make the slime feel a bit horrible and they don't stick, which means they will fall out. Eventually they will fall out. Um, and also I don't think this is going to fit in the container anymore. Okay, so we're just trying to get out all the spare foam beads that don't want to stay in. So, there's a lot of white foam beads that don't want to stay in. And we're just going to tip these out onto the table. And now we're going to see if this fits in the container still. Because I don't think it will. We might have to put it in bit by bit. So that's half full. We still have all this to put in, so God knows. Okay, so yeah, just don't want to go into the container. The container's too small. Yeah, that container's way too small. I'm gonna have to see if I can find the other. Uh, just plain black slime that I've got. Uh, that is the exact same as this, just plain black with nothing in it. Uh, we can add this in our count. So, time to go and hunt again. I like doing this because I keep having to find different slime. Ow! Found it! That was pretty easy. So, it's the same thing, just that one's got foam beads in. So, move that aside for now. And I have Tango right here. 
so yeah so this slime actually feels pretty nice on its own with all the foam beads but the problem is it don't fit in the container but i do have a spare container that i could use it's it's one of them ones that this this venom slime's in it's one of them so i might end up using that for this and um, because this probably will end up being my go-to slime i got slime on my shoulder and this will probably end up being my go-to slime for now because all the foam beads spill out <laughs> Uh, but we're just gonna add some of this black venom slime in just to see if that will help it in any way at all or if it'll just make it harder and I think that's exactly what that's gonna do because it's completely destroyed. Time for the brown slime. I'm gonna add the brown slime in. Okay so this is a bit more melted than the that other one. It's really fluffy slime though so hopefully that won't ch this won't change the colour and it will just soften it out a bit. So right now that's what I need it to do. Also in this video I might end up fixing that brownie slime. So stay tuned. Uh, so that's made it a bit better. I can actually like. it. I know that none of the foam beads will come out. They might come out. But if they do. It's fine. So it's made it a bit not as dark, which is okay, but it's still pretty black, which I do like. So now, time for all these glitters. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put the pink one in. We don't want a lot of each of these because I use these glitters. We're just going to put them in all at the same time. I'm only using ones that I actually think will look nice in this slime. So like, unicorn colours. Kind of, not really, but yeah, light blue. So this might end up looking like some piece of slime that I, you've never seen in your life. But who knows what it'll turn into. It might turn into a really nice slime or it might turn into a disaster. So, we'll see what it turns into at the very end of the video. We're going to add some gold in because I feel like that will help with the black. So this gold is like really tiny. It's not as big as the other glitters. Like these glitters are quite big flakes and these are just little ones. So we're just going to mix that in now. Yeah, that's sick. So it's put all the ugly colors to one side and all the nice colors to the other side. That looks so cool. It, but we gotta mix it we gotta ruin the nice the nice part these might the glitter might end up sticking to the bombies and then the bombies might end up turning glittery but who knows what will happen you don't know until you mix it i guess so also I might end up like i said doing the brownie slime i think i'm gonna move on to this that brownie slime after i just Find a container for the slime. Got the container. Put the slime in the container. And then we'll be good. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Open up the container. Pop the slime in. Check in the bag of the table. Debut. Friends now. So this is already brown and it's really fluffy but to be honest it's a bit sticky it has already got infinite snow in it it's pretty nice it's massive so i know it's brown but it won't look like poo once i'm done i mean it doesn't already look like poo until i make it to a swirl but this is like a fluffy slime that's like believe it or not this started off about this size and then turned into this because of how much shaving cream I put in. Also if you live near a home bargains the multiple phone stove is exactly like shaving cream. It does deactivate it and not activate it. 
but you can use it to make floppy slime. That's what I used here. But I don't want any rainbow foam beads getting into this. So I'm just going to clear the table. No, not the white foam bead. Clear the table, kind of. Just move the foam beads away. And try and just find some decent glitter that will go with it. Black cool. I really like this slime, it's a fruit chili slime. Okay, so the problem is the bottom of the bag, the bottom of um, that box that I just had is open. So all the glitter spills everywhere. So time for the black glitter. We need quite a bit of this because I don't want it to look so brown. So time for me. Hopefully make it look more browny, like a not more my mum's brown some more container. Not more poo like. Hopefully I'll make it more brownie like. When it's in the container, it doesn't remind people of poo. But when it's on the table, it looks like <laughs> poo. Yeah, it looks jiggly. Jiggly poo. Well, with it. Okay, so <laughs> I just had some black glitter. Uh, it looks okay. It's pretty nice. It's a lot fluffier now and it's less sticky. Usually when I'm playing with a slime and I go like that, my hands stick together and I have to probably yank them apart, but my hands are good. But I'm probably gonna end up putting some in this small container over here. So we're just gonna make, we're gonna work on a small piece for how much fits in that container. That's what we're gonna work on. It farted! Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so that might end up making, that might turn out a lot bigger because I'm putting foam beads in it. And when I put foam beads in stuff, you know what happens. Wow. So I'm gonna put in some of these big white foam beads. That might make it look a bit nicer and not like shizer. By the way, that is actually, so you know when kids like, don't like saying poo. Well, if you say shizer, it's just saying poo, but in a funnier way. So yeah. So hopefully these one beads will make the slime a bit bigger. And if it does, I can always, I don't want these one to fall out. And it will kind of annoy me if they do. So spot one fell out then. Um, it will kind of annoy me if they do start falling out because this I love both of these slimes that I've just that have just been on camera. Uh, they are both really nice. This one's a bit thin, thinner than the other one. That's why I like, what I like about this slime. It's really glossy and uh, putty like. That's also what I like about the slime. But yeah, I absolutely love this slime. So I'm trying to make it look brownie like, but I don't know what brownies look like. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We might put a, like a smidge of gold glitter because brownies don't have glitter in them. Well, gold glitter. They have black glitter. Well, they don't have glitter in them. But it looks like... I think just black glitter would make it look a bit more brownie like and not poo like so it looks a bit more like brownies now with the foot it looks a bit more brownie like right now i think if i put it next to yeah it just needs to be darker um let's put that brown paint yeah, please. My mom's gonna get the brown paint for me. 
Then there's an ASMR for you guys. Nickel. Baby sharks up. So this is the slime. It's pretty nice. It is a bit sticky. It doesn't match that colour there. So we need to try and make it. Believe it or not, this actually starts off as a green slime, so I think I've done pretty good to make it brown. But I did, I've got some more brown paint here. And if this don't work, I don't know what will. Pop. I've got a TikTok song in the end. I hate getting brown paint on me, so, yeah, I don't want paint on me right now. Also, leave a like on the video if you like a mirror. There will be a link in the description. Just literally type heart, like the heart emoji and then a mirror. Because I feel you, I love watching a mirror. Mira or Mariah or Elizabeth. Also, if you watch both of them, subscribe. Or if you watch one of them, subscribe as well. I just go subscribe. My hands are covered in brown paint now, which I don't like. Mm -hmm. It farted. Okay, we gotta get the slime off the well, paint off the lid because I have to do this to keep the paint good. Oh my dad's an artist and he uses this paint. That's what it's called. Artistic acrylic paint. That's actually what it's called though. I'm not joking. I just literally read that off the bottle. No paint, no paint, no paint, please. I don't want paint on me. Oh, anywhere. Okay, so hopefully that will keep good. So, I have noticed that paint makes slime feel a bit weird. Like, not in a good way. It, like, makes it all, str well, not stringy, but is not nice uh, but the foam beads really do help with that stringy texture that it tries to provide but it's kind of like stiff right now so we're just gonna add some stuff in that will hopefully melt it so we're gonna add contact and solution I'll be back looks like I'm going for a swim yeah. Oh, I found my blue multiple sand, guys. I'll bring it up. Ugh. I'm like scuntage. That's fine. This is the blue one. I'm back. I need to get a charm. <laughs> okay, so I hope I've got a nice charm in here. Okay, so I got all the rabbit, I got most of my charms are animals because I use all the rest to make the slime. No. Okay, so there are all my charms. Oh my acrylic nails. Okay, <laughs> so my hands are covered in brown paint right now, which I don't want. I just need to find a nice charm for the brownie slime. So there are, I'm just going to get all the charms out. Okay, we might put a little, some ladybugs, not a lot, like two ladybugs. And this brown dog charm, I think that kind of suits the slime. It could be like a puddle. Pretty cute. 
don't even ask. Okay, so we need to, well, now you've melted. Okay, we're just gonna make it a bit thicker. Model bomb beads. In a video, you know what, in this video, I'm gonna make this slime just flum. So, Lego. So how you make a flum slime is you need some big foam beads. You put them in the slime. I don't usually make foam slimes because it just wastes a lot of foam beads, but it is worth it. But I just don't usually play with foam slimes as much now than I used to. At once I made just, it didn't even feel like slime. It just literally the foam beads with like the smallest bit ever of slime. But it was really, really nice, so I didn't regret doing it. Okay, I'm just gonna find some more foam beads because Rainbow won't do this. Oh, it could be sprinkled! <laughs> well, I mean, at least half of them went in the slime. I mean, that's good. But also, <gasps> half of them went on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna. Don't, you just want to kind of find any foam beads. I'm just trying to get ones that match my slime right now because I don't want this to look like a. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. But these are sprinkles in the brownie. I don't want black foam beads. For obvious reasons. Um, so, I did put it a little but smaller than the container, but now I felt like I, I think I'm gonna need a container. Because this has got a lot of foam beads. Like, have you seen this and this? Like, dude, it expects me, to, I expect myself to fit. This probably will fill up half of the container. Yep, you don't have to do the last one. I right, find another container. Okay, I'm just going to see how much I can fit in here, and then the rest, I guess, will just go in the brown slime. But we're not done yet, so it might be a lot less than what I'm adding in right now. So, that looks like that's how much is going to end up being fitting in, into here. Yeah, that's probably how much it's going to fit in. Looks pretty nice, to be honest. I just need my rainbow foam beads. So we're not going to work on this, because we obviously know it's too big for this one. So we're going to work on this. But we might end up taking some off, because we're adding more foam beads. Stuck. Okay, so we're going to take this out, because this is probably how much we need to take out. Because last time we took out a hell of a lot. And this time, we're going to add in more foam beads, but not the massive ones. Well, in fact, you know, we are. We're going to add in the rest of these massive ones. Well, big, not massive, but big bomb beads. The rest of them. These are the rainbow ones. I'm not a big fan of rainbow, because I'm kind of an eco, to be honest. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of rainbow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but now it's definitely getting a lot harder to put in these foam beads. So we're gonna add in this spare brown slime. If we do really need any brown slime, I got a lot, so don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we're gonna take that much out. And work on this because right now this is how much fits in the container well and a lot more but once I'm done adding the foam beads it'll probably be like up to here but how much fits in the container right now Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna put that away. Back in the con back in the container. And 
just mix that up. So this is how much fits in now. Probably going to be a lot less in a couple of seconds because we're adding more foam beads. But these are smaller ones, so I don't know if they won't tip. They don't take up as much room. Usually, I just if I wanted to make a real farm, like a really, really big farm, um, I would literally get a boil, dump a bunch of farm beads in, and then just add like a small bit of a slime in. But I am making a proper farm today, but I don't think I'm gonna need to obviously use a ball. But I might end up getting one. I'm not sure. Also, there is other ways to make really good foam slimes. This is how to make pigment in it. Pit the gas. I'm the kind of girl who can't say away who sips on the lava. Boom. Wait, renegade, renegade. So, right now, this looks like a rainbow mess with brown paint in it, well, brown slime with rainbow in it, technically, that's what it is, so, I'm going to add even more foam beads, so I'm probably going to end up going through a lot of packets of foam beads today, uh, usually I would never use this many foam beads, unless I wanted to, and I really don't want to use this many foam beads. But I'm doing it for you guys. Well, I was watching. Probably no one. Whoever is watching, I'm doing it for you. What's the point in even making these videos? I never watch them. No point in making them. They're not creative. They're slime. Anyway, person. This is the final slime, and um, yeah, it's, uh, I really do like it, um, it's really nice, it's very stretchy as well. What's the final slime? Bye, person.